Hello everyone, this is Pampi Morandanti again and today I will talk about the basic properties of logarithms. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's start with this. I have the property and then the reason on the other side. Look at the first property that I have here, which is the lag of 1 to the base a is equal to 0, which is in exponential form. a to the power of 0 is equal to 1. The reason is we must raise a to the power of 0 to get 1. Okay, remember that a base has 0 power that's always equal to 1. Next one is the lag of a to the base a is equal to 1. Then that's in exponential form, a to the power of 1 is equal to a. Remember, we must raise a to the power of 1 to get a, meaning that if the base has a uh, power of 1, then that's equal to the base itself. The last one here is the lag of a to the power of x to the base a is equal to x, which is also equal to a to the power of x equal to a to the power of x in exponential form. The reason is we must raise a to the power of x to get a to the power of x. So that's how you do that, okay? This time, let's solve some exercises on evaluating logarithms. But before that, we need the basic properties of logarithms, okay? So please take note of this. You need this one and please register this one in your long-term memory. Number one, the lag of 3 to the base 3. Just look at the basic property. So this is equal to 1. So the second one there in the basic property. Look at that. And number two, the lag of 1 to the base 3. That is equal to 0. Look at the first property, okay? And then, and last is the lag of 3 squared to the base 3 that is equal to 2. Look at the third property there in illustration. Okay, so that's how you do that. Since we know already the basic concept and the basic properties of logarithms, now let's solve this exercises here. Write the following equations into exponential form and then solve for x. Okay, so here is the example for you. Letter A, the lag of x to the base 4 is equal to 1. So just simply change this one into exponential form. That's why you have here 4 to the power of 1 is equal to x. And then, that's it. That's the value of x since 4 to the power of 1 is equal to 4. Now for letter B, we have here the lag of x to the base 4 is equal to 2. So just simply change this logarithm into exponential form, which is 4 squared is equal to x. So 4 squared is equal to 16. Then that's the value of x, okay? Okay, for letter C, we have here the lag of 64 to the base 2 is equal to x. So just simply change it into exponential form again. That is 2 to the power of x is equal to 64. And then this time your task is to make the base the same on both sides of the equation. So your task is to make 64 into the base of 2. So that's um, actually 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 to the power of 6. In other words, 2 to the power of 6. So there you go. We have transformed 64 into 2 to the power of 6. That's the value of, we can cancel 2 now um, as the base. And the value of x now is equal to 6. And for letter D, the last one here is the lag of um, 2x plus 1 to the base 10 is equal to 2. So just simply change to exponential form again. 2 to the power of 2 is equal to 2x plus 1. Solve algebraically. Then there you go. The value of x is equal to 49.5. Okay, so that's how you do that. That's all about the basic concept and basic properties of logarithms. Up next is the laws of logarithms. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.